Uh, my name is John Stavely. I'm the manager of the Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park, and I've been here for two years. What I love about this site is it has a very old layered history to it. Now many people think of the Fountain of Youth as a tourist attraction, which it has been for a long time. We've got guest log books that go back to 1868. People have been coming here and taking the waters, thinking about the legend of the Fountain of Youth for a long time. That's something we have a lot of fun with every day. More recently, the archaeological digs that have started since 1934 have revealed that this is the birthplace of St. Augustine and colonial European America. That gets me excited because it's still a bit undiscovered. It's new lands, if you will. We have this dual nature at least as a historic site and as an old Florida attraction. We embrace both of those positions because we have to. And so as we go forward into the future, I just want to enhance all of that with new programs, uh, richer programs, reenactments, living history. I think there's so much we can do here to make it more interesting for our guests and hopefully one day people will come to us in the same way they come to Plymouth Rock and they say, wow, this is where it all began for Europeans in America. And that's my hope. My name is Carlos de Valdez and I represent the colonists that were here 445 years ago and that were on this property from September 8, 1565 until May 1566. This was the first European settlement in what is the oldest permanent European settlement in all of North America. This, this property is important for the fact that the village of Saloy was here for as long as 4,000 years. To put that in perspective, Europeans have only been in North America for 500 years. So the, the existence of the Amerindians here on the peninsula of Florida are many millennia, back beyond the time of the Greeks. I enjoy working here. I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. I enjoy being here. I don't much care being anywhere. Welcome you. I took the opportunity uh, to work here with great excitement to be involved in a program that talked about an ancient culture. When I began the program, we had the bones, we had the skeletons of something of this world. And then as time went on, uh, the village began to take shape. And now going from the bones, these skeletons, now I feel that this, this was an opportunity to put flesh on those bones and then to breathe life into the programs so that people could, as modern people, recognize that they are part of a living continuum of time and that even ancient peoples who are no longer with us have left a mark. My name is Craig Shell Carver and I'm a Cherokee descendant from Oklahoma. Growing up, um, always knowing about my culture, my, my father's family. Um, I was raised with, with, you know, the knowledge, some knowledge of, of my background. As a living historian, a reenactor, whatever you want to call it, um, if I am portraying something, I need to be as, as historically accurate as possible.